Good morning, everybody. This is Joshua McGraw from Doppler Interactive uh, coming at you today with an introduction video of our latest uh, update for Tidy Tile Mapper, uh, introducing Tidy Controllers. Now, uh, this is integrated with Tidy Tile Mapper, so if you've got it, update it, you'll have it, and I'll take you through it because there's quite a lot of uh, functionality in there you should see. Uh, if we want to first take a look at our swatches panel, you can see I now have five new blocks. These are little color coded salary men. Uh, they're the new controllers. Let's go ahead and paint a map, and I'll introduce them each uh, by name, and uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. Let's just make a tiny little map here, pop in some ground upon which they can walk and jump and generally live their happy little lives. Beautiful. That should do it. Excellent. Now uh, we'll go left to right, because that is the way things go. Our first one, so if you mouse over, you can see the name of your blocks, is the Horizontal Patrolling Controller. So if we pop that little bad boy in there and press play, as you can see in our top window there, he will uh, patrol horizontally until he finds an, uh, an obstacle, and then he will revert and continue on his way. That's uh, a very simple controller there. Um, the little green gizmos you see there are courtesy of the Entity Controller uh, class that is added automatically, or you can do it manually. Um, they're just gizmos, so they'll be stripped out of your uh, actual built project. Uh, let's get on to the next one. I'll just adjust this camera so it looks like something and not like nothing. Uh, now to the left, we've got the path. Uh, right, we've got the pathfinding controller. He's a little man in a fetching purple suit. I would call it lavender, maybe. Now if we press play, I'll talk you through what this individual will do. Uh, he'll effectively just look within a 5 block radius of himself for a block, uh, and try to make a path there using the inbuilt A-star pathfinding algorithm. Um, and if he finds it, he'll bang, he'll walk there. Uh, very simple. Uh, this works on both the uh, platformer and top-down game types, as does the previous controller. Let's look on to our next one. And next would be the platform controller. Now this is the only one that, that uh, just works on platformer maps. Um, there's uh, quite an amount of, of uh, custom logic required to get them to wander around platforming maps in a nice manner. So let's hit play. You've probably seen this one before. It's my personal favorite. And that's what he'll do. Uh, given a jump height and uh, a speed and everything like that, he'll just walk around uh, a top uh, pa uh, platforming uh, map. There he goes. I love it. I love it. Look at him go. He's so enthusiastic about life. Excellent. So, uh, platform controller is a man in the black suit. Now, I do tell a lie, because there is one other that only works with platforming maps, and that is our player controller. Now, he's wearing what is a grey suit, but kind of looks white. Uh, he is your player controller. So, if you go ahead and press play, he'll uh, actually adjust the camera to be focused on himself, because that's a, a nice function. I uh, hope you can hear the motorbikes outside there. And uh, with usual controls, that is space and WASD or the arrow keys, you can wander about your world. Uh, very good for very quick testing of your, uh, you know, your map design and such. Moving on to the last one in a uh, fiery, probably salesman-like red suit, because I understand that red encourages people to uh, buy into what the speaker is saying. So I guess it will be good for a sales type outfit. Uh, he is our vertically pathing uh, patrolling controller. And this works on both top-down and platforming maps as well. And much like the horizontal controller, he will merely go up and down until he reaches uh, an obstacle, and then he will turn around. So uh, that's really the sum of it there. Uh, that's an introduction to the controllers. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you how they're put together, so you can go ahead and do your own. Excellent. So. Everything in Tidy Tile Mapper is really just a prefab. It can be anything. It doesn't have to be a block like we use. It can be, as you see, a, a character controller. It can be a blinking light. It can really be whatever your heart desires. So uh, let's take a look at our Tidy Controllers folder now in the Tidy Tile Mapper uh, project. It came with the package. Uh, and here you can see we've got our game prefabs. Now these are the uh, characters you can see in your swatches uh, that have just been put into a block. So let's go ahead and grab, say, the horizontal patrolling controller. And uh, as you can see, he is just a game object uh, with the patrolling script. Now, all the scripts are in the controllers folder. Uh, there are quite a few. I've actually put in some templates for you too, from which you can extend if you wish to make your own um, of the pathing, patrolling, and platforming variety. Um, so what you really want to do is uh, 
let's let's work through this together. I'm going to create a cube, just in this everyday ordinary cube. It's uh, where is that bad boy? There he is. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and from our entity types folder here, these are the fully realized character controllers. I'm going to pull out the uh, let's say the random pathing entity. Excellent. Uh, now you've got a few uh, arguments on here. You can put in some animations. If you don't have any, it doesn't really matter. Um, and you've got a path radius, which you do require, and that is how far around himself he'll search uh, to find a spot to which to path. So I'm going to pop five in there, and uh, that's really it. Let's go ahead and turn this cube into a prefab. Bang. Let's clean up our scene a little. And if we go to Tidy Tile Mapper uh, and the Block Editor, we can make a new block. We're going to call it Cube Man. And we'll just add that cube that we just made right here. Save that bad boy. And then let's make a new map and see what happens. Let's put a few in there because, you know, overboard is the best type of board. Fantastic! Align our camera again because it is wonderful. And then let's press play. And as you can see, they're going about their business. So really all it was was a, uh, a script on an object, put it into your block and let them go. Fantastic. So that's, uh, that's really the sum of it. I'll do a very, very quick executive summary for you. Uh, everything in a block is just a prefab, any game object, any script that you like. Uh, look in your tidy tile mapper, tidy controllers, controllers and entity types. These are your realized entities. You can just drop on and let them go. Uh, if you wish to derive a, a new type of entity, uh, you can derive those from entity templates in the templates folder here. If you wish to see how they're all put together, the blocks that I provide, just look in your game prefabs uh, folder and, uh, and they're all there. And uh, that's really the tidy controllers package at a glance. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put together some documentation, maybe some uh, more comments in the code and some sort of quasi-API documentation for you, uh, for those of you wishing to make your own controllers. Um, I hope this has been fairly illuminating for you. And if you've got any requests or comments or anything like that, do feel free to catch me on the forums or Twitter or on the blog or in the comments here on this video. Uh, I'm a highly accessible guy. This has been Joshua McGraw from Doppler Interactive, introducing Tidy Controllers.